हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ पिस्टरिंग ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम टुडे वी विल सी दैट वाई द टॉप लैंड वॉज ब्रॉट इन द एक्शन वॉट इज द सी पी आर सी एल वॉट इज द सी पी आर पी ओ पी वॉट इज द फीचर्स ऑफ अ करमेट कोटिंग वॉट इज करमेट लेयर आफ्टर दैट वील सी वॉट इज ए एल कोटिंग एंड वाई इट वॉज रिप्लेस विद दिस करमेट लेयर ओके एंड टूडे वीडियो इज गॉन बी इंटरेस्टिंग वील सी वॉट आर डेवलपमेंट इन द पिस्टन रिंग ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दिस वीडियो विल वेरी यूजफुल एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो यू विल लर्न अलाउट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट से दैट मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब हैव स्टार्टेड मेम्बरशिप those who want to join can join and enjoy the perks for mu class 1 mu class 2 videos okay so let's start the today video so as you can see this is the piston two piston is been seen here one is of s70 me and one is a g series 70 me so as you can see the clearly difference of the top plan okay so this was the difference of the top plan so increased top plan and all ring packs are lap type so as you can see here one thing you will see the top plant is been increased significantly so what is the top plant first thing come to our mind so top plant is the distance from the top of the piston crown to the first piston ring higher the distance higher will be the top plant why it is done this top plant is done so that when the combustion take place when the combustion take place the temperature of combustion is very high and that if the piston ring is subjected to direct temperature in that case the wear rate will be very high to reduce that to reduce that pressure and the exposure the top plan is been increased okay so this by increasing the top plan we are reducing the piston wear and the exposure to the high combustion pressure so that is the idea of a top plan okay so let's see the piston ring development so as you can see this side is the old design and this side is a improved design so as you can see here there is a four ring first ring second ring third ring and fourth ring and the total pressure maximum is the 140 bar here you can see three ring 1 2 3 and the total pressure developed is 185 bar so as you can see here this is called double s lap joint okay and this is a cpr type of ring it means control pressure relief control leakage type of ring the first ring is a cpr type other than that the second third and fourth is a oblique cut type ring in the earlier design but in the new design as you can see all the three are a double s lap joint and the first two ring is a cpr cl okay and third ring is a normal without any cut so why it is been done so basically what is a cpr control pressure relief means what it means that when the combustion temperature or combustion is coming the ring will be subjected to very high pressure okay the ring will be subjected to very high pressure as you can see the pressure will come here on the piston ring so what will happen the ring will subject to high pressure so uh, amount of pressure will be relieved from here to the lower side okay the amount of pressure will be relieved from here to the lower side as it is done the pressure is relieved to some extent from the first ring and it is been distributed to the second ring so like that wise what will happen the pressure is released in a controlled way and therefore the wear rate of the piston ring is reduced once more i will tell so what is happening the pressure is been subjected by the piston ring the first piston ring as you can see the first piston ring this is the first piston ring okay this is the first piston ring this first piston ring will be subjected to the highest pressure so what development is been done firstly that they have made a cpr type of ring in the cpr type of ring when the first ring is subjected to high pressure the they have form a small groove that groove is called cpr that is control leakage of a gas combustion gas to the second ring by doing that what they are doing they are reducing the wear rate of the first ring and distributing the pressure to the second ring slowly and swiftly so the distance from the piston top to the uppermost piston ring 
that the piston top plane has been increased in order to protect cylinder liner against which gas against sulfuric gas at the high pressure okay the sulfuric gas is basically developed during the combustion and it is corrosive in nature and also against the combustion pressure so if anybody tell you what development is been done the first development is that instead of four ring instead of four ring we are using three ring okay and the first two ring is been replaced with a cpr the first two ring is been replaced with a cpr earlier the only one first ring was a cpr okay so now let's see the next after that the engine is equipped with the three gas tight ring pack now this one more thing you will see in the picture that here it is a cpr ring but here it is a cpr gas tight ring why it is gas tight because of this because of this because of the double s lap joint the gas tight sealing is much more good it means it will not allow any gas to pass from the piston to the lower part of the cabin space so that is the gas side okay limiting the amount of hot combustion gas penetrating the piston ring this will limit the heat impact on the piston ring pack okay so after that as you can see here the piston ring development there is a four oblique cut this is a, this is a piston ring development over a period of time it was a year around 1990s okay 1990s what was happened that 1990s the piston ring was like that after that on 2000 to 2010 this piston ring was used and from 2020 to 2000 onward this type of piston ring is been used so earlier the all ring wear four oblique cut was given all or all piston ring wear having oblique cut but after that the development come with the cpr the development come with the cpr which is called control pressure relief with the double s lap joint after that come up with the gas tight cpr ring so as you can see what improvement was done first is the oblique cut and the pressure was 120 bar after that come cpr ring with the pressure of 140 bar the first ring was cpr and other ring were oblique cut after that come three cpr ring in which the first two ring were cpr and the third one is a gas tight okay so as you can see here this is a picture of a ring as you can see this is a double s lap joint okay and this is how it, this this is a cpr look like okay this is a control pressure leakage okay okay now let's see the new development which is done in a smaller bore engine which is called pop which is called pop ports on plane what is pop as you can see this if you see closely this is like a this curvature which is made on the underside of the ring that like this curvature is been made on the underside of the ring okay so the cpr pop ring is a perfect example as a standard for a small boat engine and optimization reason. what is it that a pop ring wear down the pressure relief area increases means now suppose the piston ring will be subjected to wear over a period of time as the piston ring will wear over a period of time it area will increase so this pressure relief area will also increase due to which the what will increase the continuous pressure distribution throughout the lifetime it means that as the piston ring wear it will also increase the relief area the pressure release area will also increase and therefore the pressure distribution will increase over a period of lifetime and therefore what will happen the piston ring lifetime will also increase so this is called port of plane so here you can see one more thing i want to show you so earlier there were a four piston ring used to have so now as i have told you the double s lock came this is called double s lock with a control leakage okay and one more improvement we'll talk about about the kermit coating okay so engine already in service with four piston ring will continue to as a four ring groove crown with cpr piston ring one and one high and two low piston ring leaving the lowest ring empty so this is one also type of arrangement what they are saying they mean to say 
if you have a four piston ring what you can do you can put first and two cpr okay and third one is a gas tight and you can leave the fourth one empty you don't need to put the any ring in the fourth one because the three ring is sufficient to take 185 bar the three ring is sufficient to take 185 bar pressure so as they are able to take 185 bar pressure and the piston crown is been developed to take 145 for 40 bar pressure so that is sufficient and the pistoning wear out limit is very good so as we have seen in this video here as we have seen here wait as we have seen here over development of a pistoning 120 bar 140 180 bar so we have seen that how it is developed and it is replaced from 4 to 3 ring with a much higher maximum pressure so if you are using an old piston crown you can continue to use a old piston crown but you can use three pistoning arrangement leaving the fourth one empty why because the three pistoning can take 185 bar of pressure okay so let's talk about again about the cpr pop ring so cpr pop ring is what as i've told you this is a pop design okay like this the design is been made okay like this the design is made on the underside of the pistoning so what it is doing it is ensuring a constant and equal pressure drop across the ring so if anybody asks you what is the purpose of pop ring the pop ring first you should know the pop ring is been installed in a small bore engine it is installed in a small bore engine from 26 to 50 mc it means 20 to 50 mc engine the pop ring is installed it's not installed on a bigger size engine okay so what is the advantage of this it is allowing a constant and equal pressure drop across the ring which means the reduction of a wear rate of a top ring okay so let's see the benefit of a let's see the benefit of uh, having this pop ring so it reduces the risk of a ring breakage compared to previous gen of course how because if the pressure drop is constant in that case the top ring will not be subjected to the higher pressure and therefore the wear rate will increase and the lifetime of the ring will increase so second thing is that increased tbo what is the tbo time between overall if the ring wear rate is even throughout the lifetime then overall period will also be increased security of fast safe and reliable running period rate substantial reduction in piston in groove and liner wear okay so these are the advantage of cpr pop ring okay now as you can see over the past 15 years the pistoning have gone unique development from alu coating to kermit coating that optimize the overall quality of pistoning and increase the tbo the new design are now standard in all new engine okay so now we are going to see about the kermit coating so as you can see this is the kermit coating two things you are seeing one is the metallic one is the ceramic okay so this is how the new piston kermit coating ring look like okay so the let's see what are the features of the kermit coating so man kermit coated piston ring provide the most effective protection against what against scuffing against scissor and even following a prolonged operation on a VLSFO and ULSFO. It means that the Kermit coating is very much efficient and it provides protection against scissor and scuffing. Okay, and now what is the material of Kermit coating? So as you can see, CER, CER stands for ceramic, okay, partially ceramic, and MET is for the metallic. So Kermit means ceramic and metallic. It is a mixture of ceramic and metallic. Why it has been done? Because the two components ensure high elastic durability. Okay, the durability of these two components is very high, which is elastic in nature, which helps the piston ring to flex. Therefore, it helps the piston ring to take higher load, and because of which, what is happening as it is taking higher load, it is able to sustain longer bt higher temperature and scissor resistance very very important it means that the kermit coating have high elastic durability and high temperature and scissor resistance so this is the feature of a kermit coating after that it also designed to work reliably even after an incident with momentary oil film breakdown provided oil film is subsequently restored 
is ensure that engine can continue in normal operation until the next plan overall so okay so this is the feature of a Kermit coating now let's see what are the benefit of a Kermit coating the so first thing is the low friction okay because of the metallic and because of a ceramic in nature it have a got a low friction it has got low level consumption means it evenly spread the level in such a way that level consumption is less it increases the cylinder liner operation time period safe and reliable running in maximize piston time between overall so these are the advantage of having the new piston ring now this is a alu coating aluminium coating which was earlier in the uh, last uh, 2000 or 2010 phase which was aluminium coated the aluminium coating was also successful okay but now it is replaced with the kermit coating so now older engine can also use this aluminium coating which will generate an open grain structure of a liner and therefore improve the cylinder lifetime okay so basically this uh, aluminium coating design is using aluminium coating which is very much beneficial for running in period and after that the pistoning lifetime was also increased so now uh, most of the aluminium coating design is been replaced with the Kermit coating and which is causing the increase in the cylinder lifetime and substantial reduction in the undersized wear and also prolong the lifetime of a piston crown so these are the advantages of having different type of pistoning so friend in today video we have learned that what is the feature of a Kermit coating what is Kermit coating what is the advantage of having Kermit coating what is the property of Kermit coating and what are the benefit of Kermit coating after that we'll learn that what is CPR POP ring where it is used why it is used and uh, what development we have done in a over a period of time okay means what development the oblique cut was there after that comes first one CPR three oblique cut then two CPR and one gas tight seal how the gas tight seal is obtained because of double S lap joint okay so I hope in today video we have gained something and if you think that I have given you something knowledge so please 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 the request to all of you please to subscribe and please to share subscription is not much essential for you or it mean a lot to us so please encourage us to make this video like that please subscribe to our channel and please share our video in your platform like YouTube Facebook whatsapp Instagram so that more of our friend can come to know about this channel thank you friend have a good day